I think it's time. The Great Therizino Purge. We will go through these lands. We will kill every single one of them that I can find. <laughs> They're not going to be able to stand a chance. So we have something that I want to try and tame. I just found it. Um, and you know what? We made a mistake here a little while ago, and I cannot make that mistake again. I found a 150 Rex on this river. Not to mention the fact that it actually kind of looks like Barney. It, it's actually getting attacked by everything right now. Wait, what level was that Iguanodon? I thought that said 150 as well for a second. Yeah, we need to tame this thing. We really do. Um, oh, that's a beautiful Dimorph as well. Oh my god, there's so many great things here. Terrible level though. Um, yeah, we need to tame it. It's killing a family of Stegos. Love that. Um, it, it's gonna fit right in at my base with me. Uh, oh, I got spat on. Crap. So yeah, I was just out drop hunting and I've got a bunch of really good things. Um, and yeah, we, we have this 150 Rex right here. We need to drop back to the base though, because I don't have anything on me to tame. When I come out drop hunting, I don't usually fill up on um, on things that I usually carry around. So I'm really hoping that this thing is going to still be here when we get back, but who knows? Um, it's beautiful. Let's just, you know, we're across from the green knob. Hopefully I can get back in time before this thing somehow manages to disappear or die or... Who knows what else could happen? So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a quick trip all the way back over to the base and try to get everything that I'm gonna need to knock this thing out and tame it up. We might have to um I don't know if I will, but we might have to slaughter my Ovis, because I wouldn't mind trying to feed it mutton. I do not have the kibble for this thing. That's tier five kibble that they need. I do not have that. I do have some Rex eggs, but I'm holding on to them and I wanna save those for the moment. So yeah, maybe I'll I'll kill my office. We'll see. So yeah, long trip all the way back to the base. Where even are we? Uh, it's probably in this direction here. Uh, yeah, roughly in kind of this direction. Nice. So um, yeah, guys, welcome back. Um, hopefully you'll enjoy this one. Hit the like button if you do. And I'm just gonna fly all the way back. We we need to get this thing before it just disappears, like the Spinos did. Um, I'm never gonna live that one down. Anyway, let's uh, let's get back. We actually got a pretty decent uh, fur boots blueprint right here, so I might actually start wearing shoes after a long time. Um, I have not been wearing shoes, and people have been complaining. But you know what, guys? I'm giving it away for free. Just you know, like goddamn, <laughs> you're getting them for free, okay? The the feet, you know. Usually people have to pay for that. Just saying. Just appreciate what you have. Well, we're gonna be down south, so it would probably make a lot of sense to wear a bunch of ghillie. Um, I don't think I have any ghillie pants or a ghillie hat blueprint. So yeah, there we go. Oh, we do have this one. This one's slightly better. All right, cool. So mostly ascended and then the rest is primitive. That's amazing. Okay, we're heading back out now. I've got some taming trap stuff. I've got a lot of tranks and we should be good to go. The only thing I didn't bring was my other Ovis. And the reason why I didn't want to do that is, by the way, one of them actually got killed. I don't know if I even mentioned that. It was an RG flew directly into my whole base and killed it. I don't even know how. We need more plant species around. I know. We'll, we'll get to that. Anyway, my point is, is that that's my only Ovis now. And, you know, I have two veggie cakes and I could tame two more. So I think what I might try and do after getting this Rex down is going out and looking to see if I can find a couple more Ovis. If I can get a female, I can breed my one with that one and then use the baby as the mutton. If not, then I, I don't really know. We're, we're going to have to kill it. Um, I could feed it Prime, but I don't know. Like, an extra level can go a long way. So it does make sense to, to do that. I might try and grab that yellow drop over there. They're way too tempting. I cannot. By the way, we got a slightly better pike now. It's like, I think it's like five more damage, but a lot less durability. But that's all good. It's the damage that I'm mostly worried about. Ah, anyway, yeah. I don't know. There's a yellow drop, I think, over there. It might have just disappeared, though. I actually don't even see it. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head maybe towards the green knob instead and hopefully we can manage to get this dude But we'll see. Oh, yeah, there you are beautiful. Wow. Yeah, those colors are insane What even is happening with this game? I, I love it, but like what the hell <laughs> usually we'd have to work for these nice colors But yeah, I don't know. It's just like the simplest thing anyway nowadays. Um Hmm, what's the best way of doing this? I honestly kind of think Is this even a good spot right here walking come out of the water here I'm trying to think I think he can have barriers in this river, but I don't think they're really going to rush out and go after the Rex. I think, if anything, a Dillo could come at us, but I don't really know. I feel like this is a better spot. Let's actually go ahead and kill this Dillo while I see it. Nice. Level 50. Um, okay. Maybe the best way of doing this would be to try to trap it while it's attacking me, I would say. Yeah, that would make some sense. Um, Alright, so let's see if we can get its attention then. 
just shoot you with one trank arrow if you're not gonna like come to me at all no probably not um you know i could just rush in there and try to actually get it trapped but maybe not let's actually quickly just place some billboards behind us so this is probably the best way to trap pretty much any like large creature let's see yeah we're gonna just like roughly make a little box around it we might have to i don't know let's actually move maybe i shouldn't move back a little bit i don't want to get stuck between the wrecks and the sign because then i'm gonna have to hop off and that's just gonna be a bad time for everybody um dude in all honesty i should just rush in and freaking place the gates around it or not the gates the billboards yeah i could have actually put a re uh not a wreck trap a, uh, a bear trap down here um could have done that probably should have but we might be okay let's see are you gonna like What's happening? Are you seriously so dead set on killing those dimorphs that you don't even care? Look at it. This is this is absolutely hilarious. Okay, hey. How are you? <laughs> Just like oh, it's a one, three, five. I don't care. Um, there we go. Come on, bro. I could just start drinking it. These dimorphs are gonna be here forever. Yeah. And I don't. Okay, here we go. It's gonna come for me now. Hello. Hello, gorgeous. Let's get your butt in here. Okay place that there okay, i don't know if i have another one queued up oh it's snapping i don't want them to snap there we go i think you might be trapped but you might actually be able to get out of that because its leg is like mostly out no i think we did it uh yeah i think we should be okay here i'm just watching it i'm just i don't want to like run out halfway through so i don't know if placing that there would help probably not let's um let's go ahead and try and track this thing then so what do we have around here we have a therizino you probably won't run in at me, but who knows? Um, what else do we have? D -d Don't see any like Dillos besides that one over there, but I think that one's far enough away that we should be okay. All right, let's do this then. Come on, you and me, we're gonna be friends. I can't wait. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, so I have uh, I have normal like dinosaur gates that I'm gonna place around it. And that's gonna essentially help us out later on. Um, let's see that's gonna basically create like a, an octagon around it and that should be enough space to keep it safe because obviously you know you never know like it's just the smallest little creatures can run in and just ruin the team so we don't want that happening um i'm not sure how close this thing's gonna be at this point my crossbow is quite good you know i, I don't want to brag but you know 330 on the damage and i got it out of a drop like this isn't even a blueprinted one Honestly, when we get a blueprinted one, I cannot wait. We're going to have such a good crossbow. I've hardly even used my track rifle. I think I used it, like, for the first time in the last episode. So, yeah, here we go. Oh, I thought it was about to be knocked out there. I could run in and check. I might actually. I think we should be okay. It's mostly, like, running, I think. It's torpor running. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, you're going to be pissed at me, aren't you? Hmm. I'm also afraid that it's going to somehow glitch out of there. So, I guess we'll space out the shots then a little bit um yeah just don't want to screw this one up like that's a freaking 150 what the hell is that that giant fish that we saw before yeah it is you're still here but the spinos weren't that is ridiculous how dare you <laughs> that's a giant salmon oh my god come on bro you and me ah those colors wow all right i keep thinking that there's like bushes coming into my frame but that's just me with my ghillie suit it's just like getting in my eye line a little bit. Um, oh, I really want to check your torpor. Like they have a good amount of torpor, but I feel like, I don't know, good good quality crossbow. I feel like we could be kind of close, but I might be super far off. I don't even know. Let's just keep shooting it. Yeah, maybe I could sneak in here just a little bit, you know, just let me, let me have just a little peek, huh? Just a little, just, uh, <laughs> hello okay well we might as well just take a hit then yeah okay you're getting quite close 12k out of 15 so yeah we're pretty good <gasps> Ooh, it looks like it's gonna get, get out of there for a second <laughs> like when it runs in this direction it definitely looks like it could get out all right so 12k out of 15 um so probably like just a couple more arrows here and then we'll be good that giant fish is really distracting me here we go come on all right the only issue with the crossbow is the uh the oh okay that, i think that should be fine right i think so oh look at oh, what the hell happened to your neck right there nice um yeah we should be okay right i'm just hoping that it didn't somehow mess up 
Because, like, I've had it happen. Okay, and now we're good. I've had it happen so many times, even in videos, where I go and I shoot the last shot. But in the second that I shoot it and before it hits, the animation for them knocking out starts. And then it just gets ruined. And it looks like you did everything perfect. But just ever since that kind of stuff is happening to me, I'm just, you know, I'm just way too cautious. And I have to be, I think. Um, all right. So before we do anything, let's just do another quick little scan of the area. Don't see anything besides the giant fish over there. Um, we've got this Dilla over here. We'll just go ahead and kill it. Uh, it could easily run in at us. Uh, what the hell did that tree just do? What the hell? Okay, <laughs> we're good. Um, I think we're okay. So let's see. Oh, I can hear a raptor. Yeah, you just ran in from the forest, didn't you? Didn't even see you a second ago. All right, got you killed. Probably, like, that's... It's honestly a good idea to actually, like, leave the bodies there sometimes. Just because... You know, you could have something run in and eat it, and then you'll know that there was something else around the place. Um, maybe not in RG territory, because obviously RGs are just little fiends for corpses. Um, okay, so I'm wondering if a... Uh, I don't know if it's actually going to cover it completely. Probably not. So maybe let's try a different shape for this box. So if I kind of, like, maybe just go like this. Yeah, we'll just kind of, like, place them around just to cover it up as best as we can. Um, we might not be able to fully cover the Rex, though, but we'll see. That works a little bit, um, like that. Uh, we might play some billboards back here to cover that up, because if we keep placing a bunch of them back here, we're not going to be able to cover up the whole thing. Um, there we go, nice. Yeah, that should be good, I think. All right, let's get these in. Okay, I feel like the tail will probably be fine, but I might still place some billboards around it just to be extra safe. But uh, yeah. Let's quickly just go ahead and uh, drag this body away. I want to go ahead and eat that over here just so it doesn't uh, attract anything right beside my trap. Maybe we should get you killed as well. Just uh, just run away, bro. Just just run. Just keep running. Turn around and just leave this place. That's You're not helping. <laughs> just go. That's right. Get out of here. Just leave. Okay, we're fine. Anyway, uh, let me get in here and grab those billboards back. Again, just being extra cautious. Definitely overkill, I know. But it can't hurt, really. I mean, like, if I can pick up these structures, I'm not, you know, wasting things or anything like that. You know, it's all good. It's all good. And I could surround this all by spikes as well. But, you know, we've seen in the past that spikes sometimes just don't even help. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, let me actually give you the narcotic that I have. When can I access you? Probably from back here. Oh, what the hell was that? I just hear a tree break. Oh, it might have been the gate closing. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. I didn't like that at all. There you go. We'll just uh, give you that to hold on to. Um, and yeah, let's uh, place down the billboards here and just kind of block up this area. It's not really going to stop anything small from running in, but you know what? If it stops anything at all, then it's okay. I'm going to put this away. I don't trust myself. Here we go. Uh, boom. Then, yeah, you know what? I'll just place them along here, kind of just blocking off this area. We'll do the same here. Again, super overkill. I'm just, you know, I've had... How the hell did you place like that? I did not have you like that at all. What? Okay. Ooh, it must have switched at like the very last second. There we go. Um, yeah, like I said, super overkill. But I, I can't, you know, I can't have more teams get messed up. It's just not fun for the video. So yeah, we're all good. Anyway, let me see if I can go and find a an Ovis. Um, we'll bring it back to the base, try and get it teamed up. That Rex should be okay in terms of Torpor, I would say. Oh, hello. We got another Rex up here. Level of you. Level 35. Okay. We'll go ahead and kill you real quick. So, yeah. Rex should be okay in terms of Torpor. That should all be good. And, yeah. We'll just um, we'll just focus on trying to get food for it. It's like, you know, we're kind of still somewhat early days in the series. You know, I don't have all the stuff set up. And I know I could just go tame a bunch of Uteranuses. But I still don't even have honey yet. So... We got to work on things progressively, and um, I can't just, like, rush ahead and do all the Uteranus taming right now. So, I'm hoping that we can get an Ovis, but if not, we have one to feed it. It's fine. Um, yeah. Anyway, let me uh, let me fly all the way back over here. Yeah, finding Ovis is not the easiest task, because they're just so wimpy, they usually just end up dying almost immediately if there's things around them. Uh, speaking of, what the hell? Where the hell did you come from? <laughs> Nice. Uh, yeah, so we're still looking here. Hopefully we can manage to find one, but we do have plenty of time, you know? I just need to not let that thing drain down by too much, and then I can start heading back down. So I think once it gets to, like, a quarter of its torpor left, I'll fly down. It's not even going to take that much time to get down there. 
but yeah, um, should be okay. All right, well, yeah, back to the search. I'm really trying hard to find these things. Hello, terrible. I mean, even a dead one would work, you know? We could just, we could just go ahead and harvest it. Uh, I really doubt I'm going to find that, though. Oh, man. Wait. No way. <gasps> yes! Oh, it's a female, too! Yes! Oh, I'm taking you home. Look at you. Beautiful. Level 50. Not amazing, but it's okay. The better the level, I think the more mutton I'm going to get. But also, eventually, if we can get some higher levels, we can get, like, a proper hide farm going with them. That's okay, though. I'm I'm perfectly fine with this. I've just realized, crap, I don't have, like, basically any stamina. Okay, let's try and fly back to where we were because it seemed pretty peaceful enough. Oh, this could really go bad. Okay, if it dies, I need to just get a bite in. That's all I need, just a couple pieces. So, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and drop you there. Okay, so we have a level 20, the one that we have back at the base, and then we have this one. Okay, wait, don't they usually spawn in pairs? I didn't see another one. Huh. Yeah, I don't think I saw another one. I kind of just got so excited when I saw this. It definitely was a mate boost. I would have noticed that. Um, all right, let's bring it back now. I missed. Crap. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, hang on. Let's do it now. Nice. And sweet. So, yeah, if we just uh, fly this somewhat kind of close to the base, I can't fly it all the way back because it's going to get killed by the turrets. But, um, yeah, if I can kind of fly it like close by, we can um, get like a tame going on it. Oh, yes. All right. There we go. We um, didn't even actually take a huge amount of time. It's just, it's very hard to spot them. Like, this one was so obvious because it's, like, freaking orange. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, for the most part, they're quite small. They're very slow moving. And you have to have, like, a keen eye to actually spot them through all the dire wolves and everything else that's around the place. But, um, yeah. So, maybe what I should do is I should drop it up at the very top of my base. In fact, if I drop it onto the roof, I could probably just leave it up there and then it won't get harmed. Unless it falls down, which I don't think it will. Yeah, we should be okay. Let me uh, let me fly it all the way back and just put it up on top of the base. That way, it's not actually gonna get like shot or anything by any of my stuff. All right, cool. Um, and then I have the veggie cake. Yeah, we're pretty much good to go. We just need to obviously get this thing in here. We do have an RG right there. Crap. Uh, you see, I don't want to put it right there because there can be things around the area. Let me um let me drop you right here. Okay, hopefully I'm not going to regret this, but you know what? At least we'll still have mutton. You know, <laughs> we can still we can still pull mutton from its corpse if we need to. All right, here we go. So yeah, I have two cakes, and they are in here. Let's grab one. And nice, yeah. So I've been getting these things from drops, in case you're curious, because um, I did I did have a couple comments randomly on, on like some older older episodes where they're like, "You clearly spawned those sheep," and I'm like, "What?" <laughs> like we're taming these things in the videos, guys. Like, so, yeah, sometimes I'm, I'm feeling the need to over-explain certain things, even though you probably already know. But, yeah, there we go. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and unfollow. And then what we need to do now is we need to breed this one with the male. And then we'll take the baby down south and, and slaughter it for for its meat. Um, pretty horrifying, but it's fine. You know, this is the lifestyle of the Ovis. They, they knew what they were getting into. My one is a male. Okay, yeah, I was about to say there for a second. I couldn't see the horns, and I got very worried, but we're okay. Um, let's go ahead and just... Really, bro? <laughs> you really pushed me around? Let's go ahead and just get you guys onto mating, and boom, and let me get out of here. Nice. Okay, cool. So we got 10 minutes before the baby pops. Cannot move you at all. I could use the kangaroo, though. Let me just move my bird away, though. Here we go. Uh, look at all these hungry wolves waiting for a baby. Um, yeah, I'm going to use the kangaroo to just slightly move it into, like, the middle of the room, and then we should be okay. So, yeah, 10 minutes is all I got to wait, and then we can bring this baby all the way down south. But I got to make sure to put some freaking, um, some berries inside of it as well. Yeah, definitely we'll need to do that. In fact, actually, if it's a male and it's a higher level than its dad, we could just kill that one and, and keep the baby and, and give it a bunch of food so it doesn't potentially die and ruin my day. Um, yeah, cool. All right, well, anyway, we're going to have to just wait here now, pretty much. All right, you can see that this uh, this mama is about to pop. She's got like nine seconds. She's so thick. <laughs> Look at that. Damn. All right, cool. Here we go. Little baby Avis. Give me the baby Avis. That's all we need. There we go. Whoa. Wow. I think it was going for a freaking trick shot there. That was insane. And it is a male. So there we go. I guess we'll be keeping this one and, um, and getting rid of my other one there. So let's see. Let me just uh, give it a, a bunch of uh, thingy here. Probably going to have to wait around for just a couple minutes just to make sure it's got enough. I should still have some inside of the trough, though. Let me just see. 
definitely should have some, but I've got a lot of creatures right now, and, you know, they, they're hungry. Uh, yeah, we've got a little bit, not a crazy amount. There we go, yeah. We'll, uh, try and get some more berries in here real quick. Um, maybe I'll just use the kangaroo, because it's like a quick in and out of, like, the bushy areas. Yeah, that will make sense. Oh, hoo -hoo. cannot have you on following. All right, we're fine for the moment. Let me just go grab some more berries, though. All right, got a ton of berries, so I'm just going to fill up this trough, and then I will put some onto the actual obvious as well. All right, there we go. So this thing should have enough, and then, yeah, it's basically a 10% already, so we're good to go. It's going to be able to eat out the trough. All right, so real quick, do I have a Rex saddle? Because I actually forgot to check. Let's see, Rex, I do not. Actually, I want to quickly just grab the oil out of here. Oh, wow, you made so much oil. Wow, okay. Let's uh, go ahead and just... I'll be honest, I've been doing this. <laughs> I don't need this much fertilizer. It's just, it's making way too much. And I, I don't have anywhere to put it. And I don't, I, I, I don't need it. I really don't. Um, <laughs> let's see, let me dump this oil in here. I actually really have not had to actually even go out and, and get any oil. The dung beetle's kind of giving me almost enough. Like on the odd occasion, I probably will. But yeah, we don't have a Rex saddle. Let's see. Do I have enough points for a Rex? <gasps> I do barely any left though wow yeah we're um we're still kind of working on catching up we actually have caught up i didn't even realize this happened so we have caught up to where i am technically supposed to be to be a level 90 survivor um we still need to get this much for another level but we've basically caught up after i don't even know probably like 15 episodes after we changed that setting um but it's all good we are here um amazing let's see uh so yeah rex saddle let's get that crafted how much is that we need some hide, just a little bit. All right, now we just need to fly all the way down south with my Ovis, and we will go ahead and uh, and tame up that Rex. Oh, man. All right. You know what? Maybe uh, it's probably starved down enough, right? It is starved down by... Yeah, it's starved down by like a 1,000. That's more than enough. Hmm. I'm trying to think, because I should probably cook up the rest of the mutton that we have. In fact, let me actually... What is it? Food or health? I think it's health, right? I think it's health that we pump i believe if i'm wrong then yeah let me know <laughs> we go ahead and drop all this fertilizer in here this is where i've been keeping keeping the uh the fertilizer just inside of creatures because like realistically there's there's no point of filling up a bunch of volts with this crap um all right let's go ahead and just turn you off of mating so you don't immediately start making more babies and you um should i just fly you down yeah we'll just fly it down we'll just fly it all the way down Come here, bro. Oh, we actually have a... Uh, hang on. We have you in here. I didn't even realize it. Threading the needle, and nice. So, yeah, we just got to fly all the way down to this Rex, and then we should be able to get it. I do have the Rex saddle. Nice. We're all good to go. Look at his little happy tail. Ah, oh, he doesn't even know what the hell is going to happen. <laughs> this is horrifying. Oh, man. Sorry, little guy. All right, we have made it. Nice. There is a Therizina over there. It's 120. So, we should be okay. It's probably not gonna mess with us i should probably kill it it's gonna want to kill my office or something Eh, pretty nervous about that thing we might be okay i feel like it might be a good idea to kill it though let me fly over here let me just try and lead it away see if we can kill it over here it's probably not even necessary i just hate these things right now like i love them like they're a great creature but like Definitely one of the most annoying creatures. You know, they just keep messing with me. Well, early on they did. They haven't really so much recently, but I haven't really given them the chance to do so. so yeah, um, it is getting quite bloody. We're getting there. It can hurt me a little bit, but it doesn't seem like it has so far. Hopefully my office is okay. Come on, bruh. You and me. There we go. Sweet. We got some claws. That's great. Um, I accidentally hit a Dimorphodon. Okay, we have a raptor right here. Where the hell did you come from? There we go, got you. All right, I think we're good, right? You're still good. We're still good. Uh, the area is somewhat clear. We still have the giant fish. Everything's all good to go. All right, let's see. Come on, little, little Ovis. How do we kill you again? How do I slaughter? I think I have to have uh, either a pickaxe or a hatchet. Uh, pickaxe will give me more meat, so I will probably go ahead and do this. So yeah, it's this option right here. You need just a blunt weapon. Um, there we go. We have killed you. <laughs> now let's grab a bunch of mutton out of that. I'm going to leave the body there for the moment. I might actually go ahead and uh, harvest some hide off of it as well. All right, here you go. All of the mutton for you. So this should come out as a 224, I do believe. Right? 
Yeah, it's eating. Nice. Okay, cool. How much is it getting per? Okay, yeah, so I basically needed like 10. Wait, no, no, not even actually. It's going up by 7 per. So yeah, we should have more than enough in there. Oh, man. Yeah, here we go. Max level Rex team. That is fantastic. Are we going to lose another level? I don't think that we will. 224, right? Yes. Nice. Okay, let me see. How are their stats looking? Okay, that health is actually quite good. That weight seems quite good as well. Melee, a little bit lower than I would have liked it to be, but the health is definitely quite good. I think, at least. Again, don't really know. I'm more used to higher level teams. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pick up all these things uh, real quick. I was about to say, there we go. We, we already had a freaking creature coming in trying to kill our, our stuff here. Let's go ahead and kill you. There's more raptors coming. Oh, crap. All sorts of bad things are happening. Uh, is that an alpha or is that a regular? Come on, Mr. Raptor. God damn. Are you, like, regular raptor? Yeah, you were. Okay, I want to actually harvest this thing up with my hatchet then. I want to get a bunch of uh, pelt and a bunch of hide out of it. Yeah, we're going to get a ton. There we go. Nice. Well, it's not a ton, but it's a decent amount. All right, uh, Nova, you come here. Let's see. We should pick up all these things. Should just put all these heavy things onto Nova. So there's all that. And I don't think I'll be able to get back in time, but I'll pop all that into you anyway, just in case. And then the gates, and we still have more to pick up. All right, here we go. Rex saddle, and let's do it. Let's go ahead and do our very first Rex roar. Unfortunately, I can't start it in orbital camera because there's this stupid, I don't know if it's a bug or a, a change, but I can't use right click uh, abilities in this mode. So we have to start it like this. And there we go. Nice. Yeah. I don't know why you can't do it when you're in the orbital camera. It's really silly. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Anyway, let's see. Okay, some pretty good damage there. Very, very nice. This thing right here is going to be our meat collector, I would say, and probably also hide collector. Hello. Of course, of course, there's some alpha raptors here. Yeah, <laughs> like, because why wouldn't there be? There's always alpha raptors. Oh, we should eat the summon of knowledge. Look at that thing. Wait, hang on. I got to hunt that thing down in a second here. We're, we're going to go ahead and eat that thing after. <laughs> going to get all the knowledge from it. Come on, bruh. All right. And not getting any headshots really i did get some a minute ago come on there we go nice okay didn't really get any cool loot from it at all all right let me go ahead and eat this fish this is uh this is it right i think usually you have to cook it but oh what the hell <laughs> why did it bounce out of the water oh my god okay delicious thank you oh my god wow there's so much meat on this thing holy crap are you kidding me? I just got like 300 meat out of it. That's insane. What? <laughs> I love that so much. Oh, man. So, yeah, obviously the uh, the meat scales with the level, but I didn't think we'd get that much. That is insane. Level 10 Therizino. Oh, you know what? I think it's time. The great Therizino purge. We will go through these lands. We will kill every single one of them that I can find. <laughs> They're not going to be able to stand a chance. Hell yeah. Come here, bruh. Come on. You and me. You and me. And it's just going to be me in a minute now. There you go. Give me those claws. Yeah, I'm going to mount these claws. You know, I could probably make my own, like, uh, claw throne, like the iron throne, with just claws eventually if we keep killing all these guys. This one was, like, a level 45, I think, as well. We saw this one earlier. Oh, man, yeah. This feels good to have a powerful creature to just be able to take down these guys super easily. It's a real shame that um, their Xenos don't seem to have babies with them because, man, like, with how difficult they are to, like, deal with and especially tame in the early game because they, you know, they take ages and are very tame and, and they drain Torpor quite quick. It would have been kind of nice to actually be able to just, like, get some babies of them, but I don't think that they do have that. I think that quite a lot of creatures do have the babies, but not every single creature. Like, I've seen Rex babies, but I haven't seen Spino babies. Like, are, is that a possible thing that has babies? I mean, they do have babies, just maybe not out in the wild. I don't really know. Um, all right, let's go ahead and just murderize all these guys. Maybe they'll add in the rest of the babies eventually, or I don't know. I really have no idea how it's going to work. Okay, so look at this. These strikes are pretty much resisting my damage because where I'm hitting them is where they resist damage, like in their head. So I think with that, I need to let them get in on me and then like bite their backs and stuff. There we go. Let's go ahead and kill this one. Here we go. Lovely. Go ahead and hunt down that little guy. 
<laughs> no creature down here is safe from me now that I have a Rex. Here we go. And do we have... Yes, we do. Nice. So, yeah. I wouldn't have necessarily went for a Rex anytime soon, but... You know, after the whole Spino thing, a couple episodes back, you know, I, I left them there because I was like, well, I don't have anything to tame them with, but I also probably don't really want to try and tame them immediately. And then when I went back to try and see if they were still there, not even trying to tame them, they were gone. So, you know, could have really just left this max level Rex down here to just rot away and disappear or potentially get grabbed by somebody else. Like, I can't claim every single high level creature I see, you know? <laughs> I think the guys would have been okay allowing me to have those spinos, but maybe not every single thing that I want. So yeah, anyway. Um, do we have any more theories down here? I'm really, uh, I'm interested in the theory hunting because that would be great. In terms of XP, where do I want to be pumping it? Probably pump a little bit more into that. Yeah, let's just get that up to 10K for the moment. We'll just make this like a, a power Rex, you know? We'll just, uh, just try and kill everything with it pretty much. Um, let's see, let's just dump all that prime that's filling up my inventory nice cool all righty we got some brontos over here usually there's some theories down here though hmm kind of tempted to go kill some brontos too yeah uh let's do this oh my god wow the headshots on this thing oh they're gonna be so good so yeah oh another rex over here hello lower level rex okay let me go show you the power of the 150 rex with the cool colors because that also helps it's the colors that really brings this Rex together, right? I think it is. Look at this. The whole family of tribes. <laughs> oh, man. I really like the babies out in the wild. Like, it's so cool. It, it just adds, like, another kind of a uh, little bit of depth to the actual feel of, of what is happening here, you know? We're on this crazy island. There's these dinosaurs. But, you know, they're not all just grown up. We can find baby ones and make friends with them. It's great. We just kill their parents first. It's a horrifying way to do it. But, you know, it works. <laughs> We go. What level is this thing? I actually didn't even check. Okay, at yeah, level 45. Oh, you're gonna give me so much hide and meat. I can already tell. Should I be getting Nova onto? Uh, I feel like Nova should also be trying to attack things, but you know what? It's got a really good saddle. We should be fine. I was just worried about Nova potentially dying by just being right in on the creatures and not actually doing any damage or anything. Here we go. Le level level 90. Okay, I might actually try and kill that thing. I've been looking for a tape jar because I'd love one for some building because they're very useful. But, um, yeah, I haven't been able to find, like, a, a decent one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, more melee. Nice. Okay. A little bit of extra goodies in here. Lots and lots of meat. Let's grab these. Some arrows. Sweet. All right. We got some ducks here as well. So, yeah, maybe we could just go back and, and visit our, our old uh, little area over here. <laughs> just kill all these fairies. I can already see a ton of them. Why are they actually so common, though? Can, like, can we talk about that? Why did they do that? Because they were never this common before. Like, they were always relatively common, but you could never find this many of them all over the place. And I feel like even when you did find one, they weren't in groups, you know, which makes them extra terrifying. So, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's really strange. Very much, uh, very, uh, very, very strange. What is happening? Oh, it's a carn on my butt. Okay, hang on. So, let's deal with that. I'm not able to hit it at all. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, here we go. Nova, go ahead and, uh, help me out then a little bit. Get this carno off my booty. Nice. We'd love to see it. All right. Um, this is actually very close to... Yeah, this is pretty much the spot that I, um... I built at many times so far in Ark. Yeah, Nova's all good. This is, uh, the Season 3 on the island base, but this is also the 100 Days on the island, uh, location. And the only reason why I picked this spot was because I knew that it was a great area to build in very like safe in terms of like creatures aren't really going to get into my base but then also it's very central and there's tons of rexes around so yeah but uh i love this spot though i want to actually just quickly properly check it out in um in this new game because obviously like things are a little bit different maybe it's extra flat like i don't really know let me have a little look though because i usually end up putting some gates just a little bit further up there and i remember this area right here was perfect for like wood and everything because there's just so many trees See, so yeah, I think around here is kind of where I'd end up putting some gates and stuff. Oh yeah, this brings back memories. I'm like the memories that I'm having aren't from the 100 days, by the way. They're actually from season three because my base here was, I, I'm gonna just say it was pretty iconic. It was a great base. It was really cool. I loved it. it. It seems like smaller almost. I don't know why. Just almost kind of just seem a little smaller. There we go. Let's just kill that guy. Let's uh, let's go ahead and zoom out. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. <laughs> 
yeah this is a great spot um location wise we are at uh 75.5 73.5 so yeah basically really easy to remember coordinates and uh we got green op right there the whole area is perfect so many high level creatures always spawning around here or just even just so many creatures you know there's rexes and spinos and therizinos and all sorts of things it's a really good spot but um yeah it definitely brings back memories sometimes i almost kind of want to just keep building in these same areas but i don't know it uh after a little while i feel like that would just get very dull so like to kind of spice it up a little bit i'm actually really liking where my base is so far in this series on the volcano very nice location um tons of resources i've really I, I thought we'd have like a little bit of trouble like trying to keep up in the videos and everything with having like one times rates but even with that there's so many resources around my area i'm not really having any issues at all here we go um kill this turtle there we go level 100 there's another theory over there there's probably more down the river there's a bunch of brontos though we should actually go fight those guys i think that would be pretty good where did that therizino go don't see it anymore hmm. let's just head over for the brontos anyway and we are out of stamina because i just keep running everywhere i can't not run <laughs> what am i getting hit by brana oh another alpha raptor right there as well hello okay might just try and kill this dude it's only like a level 30 should be pretty quick if i can get some headshots that would be great funny how my bearer pretty much does more damage than the rex though come on bruh here we go you and me I'm not getting any headshots come on hey there we go wow okay oh look at my big uh footprints in the sand there as well Let's see come on yes oh i didn't get it okay i thought i got it there for a sec i actually got a dillo Come on, bro. Here we go. A little bit more. And hey, got you. Nice. Okay. Got some nice pikes as well, actually, but definitely not as good as what I usually have. What is that? What am I hearing? Was that a Dillo? It sounded like a Sarko for some reason. I don't know why. Um, let's see. Let me grab this and hmm. Kind of almost want to bring back a bunch of this meat. I might do that. Especially the fish meat. All right, let's go for these Brontos then. Wait, did we get any levels? Oh, we did. Nice. I think the ideal name for this um, dinosaur might be Barney. But if you have any other suggestions, let me know. We'll probably just call it Barney though. Um, let's see. How many Brontos is this? Wow, there's so many of them here. I right, just got to check before I do anything. Are they like crazy high levels? Okay, these two aren't really... Let me run around and check the other one back here because if i'm gonna start fighting a bunch of brontos they can't be like level 150s and everything we've got so many diplos here as well look at this blue one with a baby Ooh, could uh could get in on that all right let's uh let's just start the war <laughs> the war on all these brontos and trikes and everything here <laughs> just, just getting slaughtered by uh by wood little rex oh man oh yeah come on let me get you okay yeah we just got to keep running forward just so they don't like bat me all the way back into the river or something oh yeah look at this we got one down have you guys lost your mate boost yet i think he might have potentially maybe not no i think i just saw it there but we got another bronto well, yeah these other two are basically about to die there we go got you and you as well nice okay we got another level as well let's do that do this grab out any nice goodies wait did we get sauropod vertebrae from that i don't think we did i don't really want to start grabbing them out of the bags i'm not really in super crazy need for them but it would be kind of nice hello little baby diplo just go ahead and have a nice little snack right here <laughs> this is horrifying the other diplo just doesn't even care wow look at that your mom just does not even care about you <laughs> holy crap oh my god yeah it uh i mean it does kind of care a little bit but it can't deal any damage to me just knocking me back so yeah i think we're pretty much good to go here i feel like the babies have more health than the parents sometimes because this thing there we go it's finally dead damn that took ages all right come here bruh you and me wait are you mate boosted oh yeah there's another diplo there okay okay i'm getting knocked around a little bit trying to get back in here oh man i just realized uh nova's not um it's not attacking because they're not actually dealing damage to me so being on neutral doesn't really help at all let's see i guess we could put it on attack my charge but it's all good there we go got the two of them killed oh man let me grab that and uh, 
think we should be okay. Actually, you know what? I have a little bit of organic polymer there. Can I fix my pants? Oh yeah, we have enough. We just need a little bit of fiber. Uh, <laughs> I see those. Hello. Oh man. Yeah, they just come in straight after the battle's over. We good? I think we killed them all. All right, just a little bit of fiber is needed. There we go. That's more than enough. And let me fix up my pants. Uh, we just got to pull them off and do this. Can I pop that on here? I think I... No, it won't allow me yet. There we go. Okay, Nova, relay. This is not necessary. You don't need to be inside of my butt. All right, you go over there. There we go. And now get you on follow. Sweet. All right. Well, anyway, we've got the Rex now. Um, I'm going to probably continue my purge here just a little bit. Is that another Alpha Raptor? I think it's a regular Raptor, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to continue my purge just a little bit to try and go back with a bunch of hide, especially because really need that stuff. Um, I'm not able to craft any really nice saddles right now, and it's, it's kind of killing me just a little bit. So, um, yeah, we're going to continue our little uh, our little purge right here, like I said. And um, I think that's going to be the end of this one. So, guys, if you have enjoyed this one, go ahead. Do me a favor. Hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, nice little hit there. <laughs> off the video. Wow. Oh, my God.